Welcome to Engineering Starts at Home. I'm Audrey. I'm Emery. And today, we're going to be making a homemade electroscope. An electroscope is used for detecting and measuring electricity. Let's get started. So today, we're going to be needing these list of materials. Aluminum foil, a balloon, tape, some wire, although a paper clip would work as a good substitution, a glass or a glass jar, a plastic lid, and for parental use only, you'll need pliers and an X-Acto knife. So we're going to be having Emery demonstrate while I tell her what to do. First, we'll be using the aluminum foil. Emery's going to pull out a strip, just a small piece, and then she's going to fold it up into little tiny rectangles. So the way Emery folded them was into two small rectangles. And then we used the X-Acto knife and we punched a little hole in the top of both rectangles. Next, Emery's going to take the wire and the pliers, although have a parent do this, and she's going to cut a little piece of the wire so that we can use it for the rest of the experiment. So next, after Emery cuts the wire, she's going to bend it into a, a specific shape that we'll end up showing you. She wants to curl up the edges into a final design that looks like this. So next, we're going to be using the plastic lid. Any Tupperware lid will work. And we're going to be using the X-Acto knife Ask your parents to cut a little slit right down the middle. The purpose of Emery cutting the slit in the top of the lid is to be able to put our little homemade hook through the top of the lid so that it hangs down. So you wanna make the slit just wide enough that you can fit the wire through, but if you accidentally make it wider, that's where our tape comes in. So we're going to tape the hook in place so that it can help stay up and not fall into the glass. Next, we're going to hang the little strips of aluminum foil onto the hooks since we already poked little tiny holes at the top. Hang one strip of aluminum foil on each hook it's important to note as you're putting the aluminum strips on the wire that your hole is large enough and the aluminum strip is flat enough so that it has free range of motion. When Emery puts it on, she's gonna wanna test it by just wiggling it around to make sure that the aluminum strips are moving very easily and they're not stuck. Next, Emery's going to put the lid with the hooks and aluminum foil into the glass jar by just setting the lid on top. Next, you'll blow up a balloon. We have one ready. So here's where the experiment part comes in. Emery's going to take the balloon and rub it very fast against her hair. The point of this is she's trying to form static electricity. Okay, I'm gonna grab a balloon too. Once she charges the balloon all up on her head, she's going to take the balloon and move it slowly towards the glass jar. So our electroscope detected electricity in the air. By us rubbing a balloon on our head, the balloon became negatively charged. And when we moved the balloon close to the glass jar, the metal wire picked up the negative charge of the electrons. The electrons then traveled to the end of the aluminum strips where they had nowhere to go, but thus charging the aluminum strips both negatively. This caused the aluminum strips to try to repel and get away from each other since they're both a negative charge. And that's how to make a homemade electroscope. Join us next time on Engineering Starts at Home.